Emma, and I'm a singer. Hi, my name is Peyton, and I'm a dancer. And today, what are we doing today? Today, we are back with a very exciting comeback reaction to Stray Kids. Skids. Skids. Stray Kids. Skids. But yes, so today we are reacting to Stray Kids and their comeback just came out for their new song called Sorikun. Mm -hmm. Apparently the English title they're going with is Thunderous. Obviously, we have watched the teasers in advance and also it's really exciting because it's their first comeback post winning first place on Kingdom. And as eight members, I'm so excited. In case you didn't know. Jenny's my favorite. Yeah, so there's a lot of emotions. <laughs> That being said, let's just go! Oh wait, I didn't see what the text said. That was cool. Oh. Not gonna lie, this is starting out a little, I guess more <laughs> laid back than I expected, like the beat <gasps> divide. Walking like a prince or a king, yeah. <laughs> I noticed in the teaser too, their dance is like a lot of kind of like references to their other songs. Ah. Honestly, I've just been more curious looking at the English subtitles as to like how they've chosen to translate everything. Mm. Yeah. It's so good to see you! Oh, they did SMH. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this has Lexi written all over it. Oh, yes. Mm. Where did they film all of these? Like, which specific Hanuk? Oh. <laughs> that was so cool. Oh, I like the two tone hair. Oh, that he switched out oh. his. Oh. oh. All right, Felix. This is the bass is more like mm. backdoor vibes. Wait, who is this here? I'm like, whose back was he on? Oh, I It's so good to see them back as eight. But if it seems like I'm talking about Hyunjin, Jinny a lot, I probably am gonna talk about Jinny a lot, so I'll just warn you now. But they all did a really good job. But let me just jump right into the dance. So I mentioned during the reaction, it sort of reminded me of some of their past choreographies, like they were referencing it. And just to expand on that a little bit, they're not doing the same choreography, but they're doing things that are alluding to recognizable moments of choreography. The one that sticks out to me the most are the allusions to God's menu. And that happens a lot in the chorus. Like the beginning of the chorus is a great example. They're not doing this thing, but especially when Lino does it before the first chorus and then Jisungi does it before the last chorus, the way their arms move, it's like three movements and then they 
get together and it's very similar and i was like oh they're referencing or even in the music video when tan and wixi are walking next to tungbin during his first rap they're sort of like breaking the fourth wall with their exclamations that they're saying back to him and i was like they're kind of referencing their deadpool stage so i just think that's really interesting especially because when you look at the lyrics it makes a lot of sense like they're talking about making their own path like being recognizable like not really listening to what the haters have to say similarly with the meaning of the song there's kind of like a lot of teasing moments in the lyrics there's a lot of teasing moments in the dance like i just mentioned the facials but also another good example is the second verse when it goes from like jinny to lino to sungmin and they're literally going like <laughs> like it's so teasing so it just fits the whole mood of the song very well and then obviously they're also integrating like more traditional elements into the music video into the story i mean even the title of the song and you kind of get that feeling in the dance as well i pointed out when tan was walking so that's more of a music video shot like they're being very regal when they're walking like very upright very royal even the chorus choreography like the lines they're doing are sort of traditional with a modern twist like they'll be like head over and they'll lean back but they'll put their shoulder out or something so it's just like slight twists on the more traditional dancing or at the end when Jinny and Tangbin are literally on the backs of the members I was like it feels mm. like a court processional yeah like they're and like the beat there too I was oh. like I feel like we're walking to court yeah. or something <laughs> but just a couple of other things that really stuck out to me so at the beginning of the second chorus I just thought that that like mouth part with the laugh was so funny and Skiz always comes up with really cute like gag moments and again it's teasing but I just thought that one really stuck out to me I liked it a lot the last one I also think that they had done this more often but it just stuck out to me most in the final chorus because it was a very clear shot i was really impressed by the amount of one leg movements they were doing there was a lot of balancing which again is a little bit more of like that traditional like being centered but then they would jump and go to the floor and i just thought that was really interesting it takes a lot of strength to do that so it really stuck out to me but yeah i think they definitely made a thunderous impact with this comeback but like we didn't really expect any less because it's stray kids so and a third okay so now it's time for my comp <laughs> I guess first off, before I get into like talking about like the actual song musical elements itself, I'm sure people online are already going to have like explained all this stuff in like Twitter threads and like other posts, but specifically for this reaction, in case you haven't seen those. So many references in this, oh my goodness. Like Peyton was saying, like right off the bat from just looking at the song title, Sorikun. So like in older Korean, the word kun itself, like the last syllable, it's like master? like old time korean for saying like master of something mm -hmm. and sori is like sound noise basically it's like the old way of saying like a really good musician and then obviously in the music video they're filming in like all these traditional locations based on the music video teasers too like all the blue flames so in korean folklore that's like signaling tokebi a goblin mm -hmm. and korean goblins are known for being very like playful mischievous so like when you were saying all the teasing that makes a lot of sense too and the lyrics too there's a lot of references like i'm thinking specifically like Changmin's rap part the way that he speaks like the korean that he uses the grammar structure <laughs> that he uses is like that of like older more traditional korean so just little things like that really fully embracing the concept but now i'm gonna actually talk about the song the very first thing that you hear is like the beginning horns entrance that whole theme is obviously not only that but the first thing that came into my mind was like gladiator entrances like in movies when they have like the horns like to signal their entrance but then also they do that at like at a ball so basically it's just like to signal the entrance of like a really important person that's coming in which like stray kids is entering basically that's what the song is saying i know i already just talked about all the references <laughs> But now to talk about it musically, they use a lot more like traditional instruments too. You don't hear it as much in the verses. You definitely start hearing it in the pre-chorus more. There's that like sort of like thin flute sound. I'm sorry, I don't know the names like of all the instruments. They're lost to me right now. But then also in the pre-chorus, you hear the string instrument, the going back and forth. I think it's the more like Korean harp. It's not kayagum, but in the chorus specifically, you definitely start hearing a lot more of like the pook, like all the Korean drums mm -hmm. too. I'm thinking of the really, really big one, the huge circle. Uh, like, yeah. yeah. You also hear like all the cymbals too. That being said though, for this song, and I said it in the beginning, I was like, oh, it's starting off a lot more laid back, I guess, than I expected. As the song continued too, it was more laid back than I expected. This is relative to other Stray Kids songs. 
<laughs> not just other songs in general. I really do think it's like the big Korean drum mm -hmm. and also the bass that you hear. It's so deep and heavy that it feels more grounded. Also, the horns that I mentioned in the beginning, you hear that during the chorus too. It's not the same theme, but the melodic line is similar enough where your mind is like, oh, yes. The last thing that I want to say that I thought was really cool, like the way that they say the main word, sorikun, mm -hmm. imitates the sound of the drums because mm -hmm. it's like so rounded and like filled with space. So like, sorikun. Mm -hmm. Instead of like, gun, they're like, go, o. So it's like filling up and like ringing out the way that the drum does. So I thought that was really cool because also throughout the lyrics of the song, they have a lot of like onomatopoeias, like um. the kum kwangs tis. Yeah. That's all I had to say. But it is my turn to TLDR. So TLDR for this reaction is Stray Kids is back with their new release, post winning first place on Kingdom, and released with Hyunjin back. But the new song Sorikun Thunderous is kind of a mix of like what we come to expect from Stray Kids but also a little bit different and staying very true to this concept like they just went with it and ran with it that being said if you enjoyed this comeback if you also are happy to see Stray Kids back as eight and are excited and want to talk more about this release this album skins in general then you can come talk to us on our socials which are linked in the cards as always if you enjoyed this reaction then please be sure to like comment subscribe Turn on your notification bell and bye! bye.